Do you want to update to Windows 11 but don't know if your PC can run it? This is how to do it. If building a new system, the first step is to head over to the official Windows 11 product page to make sure that your system, from a hardware standpoint, is up to scratch. You will need a compatible 64-bit processor from either AMD or Intel, 4GB of RAM, 64GB storage and support for Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. If you already have an existing system that you're looking to update to Windows 11, you can download the PC Health Check app from the Microsoft website. The link is in the description below, which will take you directly to the download. When downloaded, open up the installer and accept the license terms and click install. Once installed, click finish and the app will open. It would advise you to back up and synchronize your data with your Microsoft account, but this is simply not required and you can just click on check now. A window will then pop up telling you if your PC is Windows 11 ready. In our case, it told us that TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. If you click on see all results, you can see what has passed and what has failed. If like us, your issue revolves around TPM 2.0 not being supported and enabled, you may have to head into your BIOS. For us, using an MSI X570S motherboard, we had to go into settings, security, trusted computing, and then enable security device support you'll then see that AMD CPU FTPM is no longer greyed out. You can then save your BIOS settings and exit, and if you want to confirm, head back into the same menu and you'll now see TPM 2.0 is enabled. If using a board from another brand, the process should be very similar, but may differ in some of the steps. Once you restart back into Windows and open up the PC Health Check tool, you can check again and it will say, this PC meets Windows 11 requirements. You're now ready to update to Windows 11, and we have a whole video going through the update process step by step, which is linked down below, so definitely check that out. If you're wanting to do a fresh install, we also have a video for that, and of course, if you do get in any trouble, even after watching this video, then definitely head on over to our Discord. Again, that link is in the description below, and we'll be more than happy to give you some assistance.